Hi guys, welcome to Adam Collar TV. So this weekend, the Premier League got back underway and what a weekend of football it was. Manchester United obviously made me happy with a 3-1 victory over Bournemouth at Bournemouth on the opening day. Rooney Mata and Zlatan scoring. Decent result. Obviously disappointed to concede that late goal through Smith near the end, but three points on the opening day. When you haven't performed the greatest, you've got to be happy with it. Elsewhere, Manchester City needed a late Paddy McMahon own goal to give them three points against David Moyes' Sunderland. Leicester, the champions, lost against Hull City, who only had 13 fit squad players. And of course, and of course, Arsenal were battered 4-3 at home against Liverpool. It was 4-1 after 55 minutes, I think it was. And I think Liverpool, with the attack that they have, Mane, Firmino, Coutinho, Sturridge, etc., they have the potential to rip teams apart because they're fast, quick, they keep moving, and they can occupy different positions on the field, they keep rotating, um, and they can hit you on the counter-attack at speed. So I think they'll score... A lot of goals this season open teams up, but defensively, as shown by the scoreline, they were all over the place. Last night, Chelsea beat West Ham with a late Diego Costa goal to make it 2-1. Now, West Ham, they weren't really at the races, but they got back into the game with a late Collins goal, and it looked like it was going for a 1-1 draw, like I had predicted, but that didn't happen. Chelsea got that late goal and Antonio Conte was going mad on the sidelines. A fair play to him. It was a victory he would have wanted on the opening day. You don't want to start off in a new season, in a new league, with a defeat or a draw at home. Um, especially for a team like Chelsea who suffered such a dreadful time last year. This is a team that is still pretty much the team that won the title the year before last under Mourinho. So there are a handful there. I still think they need one or two more, but they will be there or thereabouts with City and United for the title, in my opinion. As you can see as well, in that corner, you've got the Fantasy League code. Now, my team didn't do amazingly well. Thank you to over 1,000 of you that joined, 1,095 entrants to be exact, and more will be added after game week two. I think there's like 100 waiting to be added, so we're gonna have about 1,200 of us in this league. I'm 609th, can you believe it? My team, did well in terms of Aguero, Zlatan getting points, um, Mares, Will I Am getting points, but defensively didn't get much. That late goal for Smith meant De Gea lost a few points as well. Long didn't get a goal for Southampton, as I expected he would. So my team didn't perform to the greatest. How did you guys get on? Get your comments in below and let us know where you sit in that table. On the screen now, you can see the team of the week. Ben Foster in goal, Kingsley, Collins, McCauley, Coutinho, Fur, Lalana, Martial, Capoue, Negredo and Ibrahimovic. Negredo, Aguero, Ibrahimovic having the same amount of points. Coutinho being the player of the weekend. Does he deserve that, guys? What do you think? Is Coutinho the player of the weekend? Up to stats had him in their team of the week as well. Theirs is obviously a more stat-based look at the game and at the team of the week as opposed to Fancy league where it's how many points everyone got. So Heaton, Ingle, Smith, Bayi, Jagielka, Azpil, Kueta, Kapue, Fellaini, Rooney, Coutinho, Mane, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So Manchester United and Liverpool players dominating the Opta team of the week, the Fancy team of the weeks. Got a few players in there as well. Coutinho in both of those teams. So is he the player of the weekend? Get your comments in below and let us know what you think about that. Also, shout out to Daniel Lim, who's sitting top of our fantasy league. He's in the first position with 87 points. I think that's like almost 50 more than me. Bloody hell, I'm already playing catch up. But well done to Daniel Lim. Hope you're watching. If you're watching, get your comment in below. Sorry I didn't have any content for you guys yesterday as well. I had a hectic day. I was in London, did Copper 90 um, with Poet and Vuge. Poet cracked up. That was hilarious. So make sure you go check that out on Copper 90. I did something with Football Republic as well, Team of the Week. So make sure you go check that out on the Football Republic. Anything else? I also did Filthy Fellas as well. So go and check that out too. Apart from that, it's been great to have the Premier League season back. Um, I've missed it so, so much. And I hate that now we have this game against uh, Southampton at home, Hull City. And then we have an international break. 
as soon as you get back into it, you have that bloody stupid international break. Ah, oh, can't stand it. But anyway, looking forward to the game on, on Friday. I was about to say Saturday. It's unusual having a game on a Friday night, but I can't wait. Under the floodlights, Old Trafford, Paul Pogba's debut. It's going to be fantastic. I'll have a preview of the Premier League weekend, as well as my preview of Manchester United versus Southampton as well. That will be up for you later on in the week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment and share. Get involved in the fantasy team. If you haven't already, the cold is up there. So get involved, get your teams in and we'll see how you guys get on. For now though, I'm Adam McCullough. I'm out of here.